So we are on the Avenue Foch and uh, this avenue was greatly damaged like most of the city, central city of, of uh, Le Havre anyway. It was obviously reconstructed, it's like the new take on the bourgeois architecture so to speak. I personally absolutely love it because from far it looks simple but when you get up close to it, it's actually not so simple and you can see there is a lot of privilege going to the windows, light. I'm really looking forward to discovering more of this architecture because this is super interesting. You could see the trend where it was going in the mid 20th century in France after the war and I absolutely love it. I never seen the houses with so many windows like this. They put at least three windows next to each other it's very bright and I like it. This is what I think, in my opinion, what Soviet Union could build, could have built when it existed, because I was born in the Soviet Union. And um, He's an it, feels, <laughs> it feels a little bit similar. It feels actually very similar in terms of planning. The urbanization is very it feels kind of Soviet or back then, you know what I mean? Like 50s and 60s. Of course, I wasn't born in 50s and 60s, but it feels similar to what I kind of saw as a kid. But it's very beautiful because they also included some details. Yeah. And it's just stunning. It looks like it was so well thought through. It's very unique. And it's so beautiful. It's like, yeah. I don't know, I think it's stunning. I didn't expect my reaction like this, to be honest, because I saw pictures of the city before we came and I thought, oh, maybe it will be a hit or a miss. I don't know, maybe it will be a miss. But apparently not. I'm apparently, looking forward to the beach. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> We've arrived to our apartment and let me give you a little tour. So, we're in the center of Ta-da! And we've got the kitchen, which is right here. So as you can see, this is the exact example of the architecture of Pere when he rebuilt the center of the city. And you can see that it's very light, it's very... Uh, even though it's not that big, but it has a lot of light, a lot of like space and stuff. So this is what you would imagine as a, what they thought of probably as a standard of living in France um, after the Second World War, because this is what they built. This was the apartment, the exemplary sort of apartment uh, architecture, and I just find it beautiful, to be honest. I find it amazing. So before we go and explore this city, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background about why this looks like that. So Auguste Perret was uh, an architect who studied architecture in uh, Paris, in uh, Ecole des Beaux-Arts and uh, basically he was a son of a construction businessman in Paris who already had built some apartment blocks and stuff like that. So when Auguste Perret finished his university, he started working for his father in his company and um, he started building with the company, they built several apartment buildings in Paris and they built some uh, churches as well around Parisian region, as well as the Théâtre de Champs Élysées. When Le Havre needed to be rebuilt, because this was completely gone, this was all destroyed, there were barely, barely any buildings left around here, he was appointed as the main architect to rebuild the city. He was a big fan of uh, reinforced concrete because he believed that you could do more things with the building with the architecture itself, with that material. He was a little bit criticized because it looks very different, but at the same time, the city has become, first of all, the World Heritage, UNESCO World Heritage Site, and at the same time, it has become the city of the young and aspiring architects. I'm going to London now. <laughs> I'm 
When you are in love, oftentimes you will be seeing this gigantic tower. In reality, it's a church. It's called Saint Joseph. And in 1870s, there used to be a chapel and then church. But unfortunately, during the Second World War, during the bombardments, the church was completely destroyed. Hence why they had to rebuild from the scratch. And the latest version of this church is actually made out of uh, reinforced concrete and it was designed by Auguste Perret. He had to really work to convince the church itself <laughs> and uh, also convince the city to have it built because it's an extremely new design. It's never seen before. It's a huge lantern tower that you can see from everywhere. It is absolutely stunning. On the inside, you have this beautiful play on light and it just envelops the visitors. One minus in this Airbnb is that there is no coffee. They didn't leave any coffee. I found, well actually except one thing. I found this, which I never drink, and it's decaffeinated. So, yeah. This is terrible. I mean, the least you can do is put Coffee, it's fine, it doesn't cost a lot. You buy one box and then you put two for every guest, you know? I have this nasty decaffeine. Let's see, let's see, let's not judge in advance. Oof, good morning. <laughs> so let's see how it tastes. I don't know how it tastes. Have, have any of you ever taken, I mean, drunk? Decaffeinated coffee, I don't know. Plus it's instant, so... Okay, I'm not gonna complain, it's okay. Instant decaffeinated. Wonderful. Just tastes like really bad coffee. They keep on running since 8 a.m. We don't know the route, but there is a marathon going on. And apart from that, Le Al is a port town. They deal with 17,000 containers in a day. Hence why you can see the statue right behind me. So that is Cathedral Notre Dame du Havre. It wasn't a cathedral actually until 1974. It used to be an église, a, a church, but it became a cathedral in 1974 and it was also destroyed greatly during the Second World War, so it was renovated by 1974. 
It's very interesting and very unique building. It was first constructed under Francois I. So we are now in the area that got spared uh, during the uh, bombing, but not as much as the other area. So you can see some older buildings here that still remain. And we're going to the church that looks really cute. That's it for today. We hope you liked this episode as much as we do. If you'd like to see more of this content, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next week. Au revoir. Au revoir.